from your era of college football, when you're at Ohio State, Larry Fitzgerald's on the cover of this game, Desmond Howard's on the cover of this game uh, in 2006 or 2005. They mix and match all these things. But now, now that it's returning in the era that we're in, and we haven't seen it since 2014, um, schools, universities are going to make some money off this. Players will too. We, we certainly know that. And it's going to be tiered. According to a report um, through Matt Brown of Extra Points uh, and a Freedom of Information Act, there's a 2021 memo that was released that says that EA Sports will uh, tier payments for universities who want to participate in this game based on AP Top 25 finishes over a 10-year period. And it's, it starts out like at $104,000 and moves all the way down to like 10. Uh, but when you saw this today, what, what did you think? And did it bring up any college memories for you playing this game? And so I grew up playing it and I'm, I'm with you. Like I, I quit playing video games, honestly, when I was in college, because it's like, you know what? I'd rather be out. If I'm not working out or getting better at football, I'm going to try to go to class a little bit. And then I'm going to you know probably be partying and chasing girls. Like that's kind of the order of operations. And so I like video games is just going to detract from those other things that I'm really here for. I can go play video games in my mom's basement. If I want to go live there when I'm 40, you know, like I can't go do those other things anymore. So I kind of pushed that back. But growing up, like, you know, NC 2K, I mean, that was the deal. That was the game. Yes. And like to be able my freshman year to see it in there. And like, they've got your number, your hometown, you're dressed, you know, like you normally would. And all my buddies would play it. And they, you know, they'd show me all this stuff. And I'd hop in and play a little bit. But, you know, it's a nice slice of nostalgia. And I'm glad they're bringing it back. It's one of the most beloved games around. And, you know, with that, um, you know, I, I think the way that they're kind of handling the payment is probably proper. You know, when you start talking about, you know, who deserves, you know, what slice of the pie in the NFL, it's easy for their collective bargaining because it's 32 teams and, you know, all franchises, right, wrong, or different are created the same. And you got your cover guy who's going to get paid more. But outside of that, all players get the same cut and the teams in the NFL get their cut. But in college, I mean, there, there's so many teams and you want them all to be involved. But obviously, like, there's there's not equal equity among the value that all of them are creating. And so I think that the system over a decade, and you can have that rolling every year. So if you're a, you know, a, a group of five school that's really good and it you know, works your way in and has some you know top 15, top 10 finishes, finishing the top 25, like, yeah, you're going to get more equity than schools that are at the bottom of maybe the Pac-12 or the SEC or Big Ten or whatever it is. And so I think that that's a very fair way to do it. It's very performance-based. It's mer it's a meritocracy. And I think that that's probably the most responsible way uh, to get it done. And you know, when you sent me that, I read it. I'm like, I can't think of anything better. But now the players are going to get it back. They're going to be able to enjoy playing as themselves again. Fans are going to love it. You get to go into dynasty mode. Hopefully they include exactly. you know, past teams because they went back and paid you know, all the former players. Like, dude, put, put on some of those great teams from the past. Like everybody wants to be able to go back, and especially like older, you know, older folks like us. If I go back and play, I mean, I might not even play with my team. Like I'm going to be playing with you know, the, the 96 Ohio State team or you, know, you pick the 97 Michigan team or those mid-Nebraska 90s teams or you know, Florida State 99. Like all these great teams you know, that have been out there like those are some of the cool things that you get to do. You fire up Bo Jackson, you know, when he's at Auburn, like all this great stuff. And hopefully they'll be able to incorporate all of that and be able to kind of bring that joy back that's been lost for like 15, 20 years. 